So the first thing I would recommend is um, splitting up your page into quadrants. We want to um, have uh, a space for three different, um, three different uh, drawings. So I'm just going to make a space for four. Um, and I've kind of marked off halfway along there and I'm going to be careful to mark away along a halfway line along here. Okay, so that's first sort of use of space and layout. Um, okay, so I would then try to maybe draw the outside box of it. So uh, that first kind of task is to draw the main outline. So I'm going to pick one of those three. Um, I'll, I'll go for an easier one to start with. And I'm going to start down in this bottom quadrant down here. So you know, I'm going to try and work out how much space I've got. If I start down the bottom, I know I'm going to make a rectangle and a cuboid kind of going this way. So I'm going to start roughly about here and see how far along I can get. And this is about you working it out, how much you can squeeze in. So let's count in sort of one, sort of two. When I say one, I mean sort of pretending that's a half and that's a whole. So a whole I sort of count as two squares. One, two, um, three, four, five. I feel like we might get five. Let's go up by... Um, three, one, two, three, um, and then along maybe by four, one, two, three, four. So that's definitely going to fit in there. Uh, we might be able to go up by four, so, um, you know, um, or maybe along by six, depending on what you want to do. Let's try going uh, along by six. Uh, so we've gone along by six now instead of five and up by three. One, two, three, like that. And then one, two, three, four. And that's my very top point there. And you'll see what I, how this kind of all fits together in a minute. I'm not worried about going this way. I know that's going to fit in. I can see that in the space. So I'm going to go along by uh, six. And I'm drawing lightly uh, always to start off with up by um, three. That's sort of six smaller squares. Like that. Um, I'm going to just show you this by just going up by three here as well, uh, like that. Okay, and then kind of along and join those two up. So I've got my first sort of size there, and working out how far we are going to go along here will then kind of match up on this side. So let's go along by four. I've already drawn those lines. That's my top point there. I'm going to go along by four here. One, two, three four to there like that same along the bottom uh, one two you don't have to count you could just follow the lines down uh, now that you've drawn them and kind of where they cross is where it is so if you have a look I've just kind of drawn that lightly so that I don't have to rub out too much okay but there you go I can see that and if you've counted right going along here then this point and this point should just match along that line OK, so that's the first thing to do in uh, any shape is to kind of think about the outside cuboid that it's going to fit into. All right. So the next thing um, I'm going to sort of look at um, number 15 as a kind of easy one to start with. So I'm going to go with that kind of bottom um, and sort of back side. Uh, so I'm going to sort of count that as one going up. Um, so let's start from here and draw a line along here and maybe one coming in. So. I've got that as uh, something like this kind of shape to start with. All right, like that. I know it goes all the way along the back. So I'm not thinking about taking those corners off yet, if, you, if that's in mind and you can see where I'm going with this. I, I know this corner might come out, but the first thing is to do is to kind of just make sure you've got your outside shape. So just draw that in a little bit stronger. Um, your outside shape, uh, rough shape done. So. That's what I'm doing just to start with. And now this line is going to come along where this line is going to come down. So uh, I know it's going to kind of come to that point there, um, even though we're going to take this corner off. So, um, you know, some of that we're going to rub out in a second. But I've drawn that kind of rough shape as it is at the moment. I know it's now got this um, triangular shape that comes up from here to here. So let's work on that to start off with rather than the corners. So we've got to work out where the middle is. It's right bang in the middle. So I know that we've got one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my middle point here. This is line here, but it's either side of it. And I'm going to keep it the same kind of thickness as all these other areas. So I know I'm going to go from here to here. All right, those two points. So I've gone in two and a half this way, two and a half this way, uh, to get these points here as where I'm going to kind of start with. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom. So uh, come over by two and a half to there, and then two, uh, 
and a half to here. One of the things that people get mainly wrong is by not counting it properly, so I sort of double checked. And now you should just be able to draw a line between these two points, just like that. And the same for here to here, and if you're drawing it right, these two lines should be parallel. So I've now drawn that part in there, and we're going to add this kind of bottom triangle apart. So I'm going to draw a line down here and a line along here, and wherever they meet is kind of where the point is. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that, and it seems to be about here um, that it is uh, that I'm going to do it. Now, because of the way I've drawn my cuboid, I've done it kind of to try and fit in as much as I can in the space. Um, if I was drawing it perfectly accurately, this would probably be three and three going up. So this was a perfect kind of, um, uh, you know, it's, these would be the same sort of dimensions. As it happens, this one is two and a half down and I think about three uh, going along or three and a half. So um, it's not quite as it is on the picture, but it's, it's good enough for us to kind of work with and show, show what's going on. Now, at this point, I'm going to rub out some lines that are just um, annoying me. Uh, or they're just kind of they're not needed anymore um, and I can see that they're just getting going to get in the way so there we go you can start to see it take shape and now we're going to work with taking off these corners so again you're just working out how much it's going to be um, so I'm going to go down by one and across by one and that way I can just draw those lines like this okay um, and now you know you can easily draw that to that side this one to that side and again it's down by one and across by one or you just connect these two lines like this okay and then you can easily rub that bit out okay and before i rub it out i would generally do the same on the other side to make sure i've got it all as i want it to be so down by one along by one and then we're going to connect these sides here um so it's a bit easier to do this one because it's actually just a straight line that goes across um even though it is crossing so last thing we've got one more line to draw which is along this bottom side here like that now that is this section complete. Now that's the main thing that we want to do. Now, if you're feeling uh, brave, you can also work on the, on the kind of the circles or the cylinders that kind of go through the shape. And this has two that come across here. So I'm gonna pick a, a kind of a square for this to kind of fit inside. And, and um, when you're doing these kind of circles, you sort of think, think about, um, you know, uh, uh, if it's a perfect circle, um, think about the square shape that's going in. So I've kind of drawn these two areas that I want it to be in, um, and we're also going to kind of go through the center point as well. So if, bear in mind where these center points are um, and how they're going to kind of work. Now, this is kind of like um, a bit more like an egg shape rather than a perfect circle. Whatever you do, don't draw a circle. You've got to think it's looking in 3D. And you've got a tight corner and you've got a kind of more, rela more relaxed corner. So these two areas, just kind of having a think about it, these two areas are the more um, kind of relaxed. And then these, this one on the top and the bottom, this time around, on this face, um, are the more relaxed areas. Um, now, you can freehand it like I'm doing here. Um, and there are um, certain ways of approaching circles, and there's also templates that you could use. And um, if you're interested in drawing this uh, really accurately, I'm just showing you how to kind of roughly get that um, in the right place, then you need to um, look online for how to draw a circle in isometric, or um, you can get a template. Uh, we have some in DT as well, and that would help you to draw those accurately. So that's the first shape done. Now there's still some lines all around that you might want to kind of rub out perfectly. Uh, the last thing I would say is it, it, it can be really helpful to go over these lines. By the way, you don't need to put these, these bits of tape on. Now I've just done this so it doesn't move from the camera. Um, so, um, yeah, you, you can, uh, I, I would have a fine liner ideally. I, I don't have one here, so I'm just gonna use a, um, a black biro uh, just to go over the main lines um, like this. And you can kind of see now that's just going to help me um, get this shape correct. And um, ideally, you just be aware that um, going over some lines, certainly in isometric when you're using a ruler, you can start to smudge the ink. So if you are, using something like a fine liner or an ink that doesn't dry sort of instantly, just bear in mind that you might start to smudge your work. All right, and that is the first kind of isometric uh, shape done. Do double check, obviously your shape before drawing it in in a um, permanent pen because there's no changing it after you do. Um, 
you can look at that original drawing make sure your ruler doesn't bob up like mine just nearly did and Okay, that's the first shape, and if you feel confident, you can go over your um, your circle as well, or you might like to leave them. Um, it's a bit hard to do it when it's my page is taped down uh, for the video um, to get that right. But I think that's kind of roughly what we're looking for for one of those isometric pictures, which is kind of more of a basic ones. Let me just do one more for you, just to kind of show how this might relate if you are... Um, doing something uh with kind of more angled sides as a kind of a representative so um let's go for the second one i'm gonna once again try and think about um uh, i think i'm going for number 12 here that has some nice sort of sides on it so let's pick again the outline shape that we're going to do so um let's see if we can get sort of one two three four five six all right, um, let's go up by three again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can fit that in again. So that's how I'm doing mine at the moment. This pencil's broken its lead there, so I'm just gonna change pencils. Okay, one, two, Uh, you don't have to count everything you can kind of like i said before you can you know i can just you'll see just by doing that and seeing where they cross i know that's going to be there same here get my vertical line and it's going to cross here so main shape complete now you'll notice from this shape that there is one big slant that goes down um looking at number 16 one uh, is it number 16 no it's number 12 number 12 i'm going for one big slant that just goes all the way across this face here so that's the first thing i'm going to work on because and um, there's a corner taken off but that corner is a little bit more complicated whereas the face that comes off here is just one big slant so the first thing i'm going to do is work on that outline shape so it's much more based on this side so it's maybe a third away along here that it starts at kind of slant so you know i could go for two along leaving four and let's say go for one high here all right so that's kind of two along and one high on this side so i'm just going to kind of draw that line same thing on this side and you'll notice it's all along this line so two along and one high notice it's along this line so that's my kind of first and remember you're drawing lightly when you're doing it in pencil because you know you're going to have to rub some lines out so i've got my first kind of shape um worked out outline shape i've taken that chunk off i know some of that is going to be cut out as well that's the first bit let's work on that corner now it's sort of starts um maybe i don't know it might it looks like it's about halfway along here that this corner takes out so i'm looking at about here um and it's got to come along this line somewhere so uh, somewhere along here i'm gonna have to pick uh, a place but I feel like it's longer or maybe it's about the same sort of dimension yeah it does actually looks about the same along here as along along here so if I've gone two across here let's work on two across here and that's going to go up to that point there so there we go and then here let's put that line in properly and then let's take that line out like that okay now that's a bit hard to see so let's take out all the kind of lines that aren't being used now um, you know we can take out this line and maybe go over the other lines a little bit. Um, there you go. Uh, uh, no, we don't want that one. I've just uh, yeah, we don't want that one. I'll just take that one out. I've just redone it. That's the last thing I'm going to do. Put it back in. So here we go. This one goes in straight across there. We're going over these a bit darker now because I know these ones are staying. Here we go. This is the one I wanted to draw in there that one there okay now you can see it you can see what we've got all right i can drop 
rub out those ones. Okay, and we know that this is a strong line that's not got anything rubbed out. So I'm going to put that in straight. I'm not going to do this one strong yet, um, but I can do this one nice and strong because I know that's good. So we've got something going out of the middle here, kind of a channel. Um, so we're going to work out what the middle is again, because it's right in the middle. It looks like, oh, oh, maybe it's bunched slightly over, actually. Maybe it's slightly further to this way. So let's let's put it sort of like that, sort of slightly closer. One over here, two over this side. Um, OK, so now we can kind of connect this uh, along. So it goes all the way straight along like that. And this one. I would then work on dropping this bit down. So let's go down by a half, drop that down to there and bring it along like that. OK, um, and now we want to connect this. Now, where this line, how far this line is going to go out depends on the slope. So we know we can draw it in lightly and we're going to rub out some of it in a minute. So I'm just going to draw it in. Now, this slope the line that this is going to kind of come down here is going to be parallel to these two lines. So I am just going to line up my ruler parallel and I'm going to connect it from this dot till it meets that line I've just drawn. There we go. Just like that. OK, and I'm going to do um, this line that comes along like this. We know that's just going to come along and I'm going to draw this line that comes down to meet it parallel to these other lines. So straight parallel like that. And there we go. We've got that part now pretty much drawn and we can rub out the lines that are not being used again. Now, I think I've drawn all of those lines apart from maybe the circle. So let's see if we can go over those with a sort of an outline now to kind of just to make sure it really stands out without making any mistakes because you'll be really annoyed if you have to do it again. I do suggest you have a practice uh, with these. This is actually, I did have a practice before doing this video um, just to make sure everything was the correct dimensions. And it, it can be done straight away, but good to All right, there's a the shape. Now let's have a little quick look at that circle. It's right bang smack in the middle between the top and the bottom. So I know that uh, this kind of um, wrong here and wrong here, the equidistance between the two. Um, I think it's it could be like the same distance away from the edge there. Maybe let's go for putting it in this kind of square. See how I'm drawing myself a square two by two by two or one by actually one by one by one half by half, whatever you want to say. OK, and I've drawn in the middle there as well. Now, unlike this one, the tight corners are on a different face. So they were kind of over here. Um, here, the tight corners are kind of slightly in the, in the other way. So they're kind of long corners here between those kind of center to center and tight uh, kind of corner there. Um, long corner here and tight corner between these two and it's a bit more like an egg that runs along this central line here all right um and there we go we've got this kind of um shape as we've got it so and if you feel really confident you can put that in in the pen hopefully not ruining your nice drawing so that's the second one um done there all right um you'll notice like on some of them um maybe i'll I'll do one very quickly for you, uh, which has some other little uh, cutouts, um, maybe number 20. Um, and uh, I won't speak, I'll just do it so, so you can fast forward it.
you notice here, now I've done the main shape, I'm going to start taking out the little nooks and doing the more detailed parts. So down to here, and then that's going to go kind of along like this to here. All right, and then that bit goes about halfway up here, um, nicks in like that. Okay, so we're just going to nick that up to that halfway line there and bring that in for there. I can take that out now. Okay, that's that kind of little nick there. So now we're going to have to um, work out how this is all going to join. So we're just going to uh, bring it in, say, by one and over this way by one. Uh, yeah, to meet that line there. Like that. Uh, and that is just going to hit that line straight away. Should actually be hitting that line. So this actually needs to come along to here. Oops, put that out. one out. That line can now come up to here. And that line. That. Okay. And now we can take that that out. To show that that has just cut down that whole shape and this included that's all on a slant all right and that's why we had to change these parts um so you can see now only with that finished sometimes it takes a little bit of working so that's how the the kind of the slightly harder ones um take a little bit of thought as you're kind of going along you have to change certain things and rub certain parts out but we are there with it now we can just go over that Uh, you notice on this one I didn't do um, four by three. I did three by three on the kind of the two shorter sides. Okay, and then we've got two holes, so let's just think about a square here. Midway line and maybe a square here. Midway line, so once again, where's your tight corners between here? Big corners, tight corners. and tight corner, more relaxed, tight corner, more relaxed, there we go.